Hi, my name is Beth Suchak, and I'm happy to be able to join you again today. Again, I'm talking about the human spirit and blessing your spirit. Now, a lot of the wounding that's happened happens in the soul. So it's a long, painful process to heal the soul. But when the spirit is activated and blessed, it makes the healing much quicker and more enjoyable. So thank you for joining me today. And first I ask you to connect with the Holy Spirit and your human spirit and breathe in and let that spirit wind, that pneuma, come into you and fill you up and lift you up and let Him guide you. And I ask your soul to kindly step aside. So today I'm talking to a very vital aspect of your spirit and it's based on Arthur Burke's Seven Redemptive Gifts and this is the teacher portion of your spirit that I'm inviting to the front to receive the blessing. Teacher, you are so important because you pursue knowledge and truth. Those are big to you. And then once you find the knowledge, you research and research to make sure it's really true. And that's a good thing. And I bless you, teacher, because you want to have facts, you want to have information, you want to have details, you don't jump on the latest fad, you wait to see. How is it going to pan out? Is it going to be true? You make decisions and process slowly. If there's a group, you tend to be the one that listens to what everyone else is saying and waits and then makes a summary at the end of what all the others are saying. And this is a good thing. You like the old tried and true ways. You want to preserve history. All this is good. It's part of the package of who you are. And I bless it. Teacher, you're like the priest in the Old Testament. And the priests were very safe because all the people with all their problems came to the priests and the priests would make a ruling or decision. Well, you have this disease, so you need to go do this. And you have to make this kind of atonement. So like the priests there, you're very safe. People can come to you and they can share and they can say what they're struggling with. And you want to help them. And often you know the Word of God is a foundation, is um, something that's dependable and reliable. So if you share the Word of God with them, then they can make um, reliable decisions. Um, you don't like to confront those sometimes because it, it seems like it'd be better to, to give them information and rationalize and reason and hope that they come into the truth. But teacher, I encourage you to be cautious about feeding your mind and neglecting your personal spirit. Because truth is not known first in the natural, but by the spirit. Check out 1 Corinthians 2, 10 to 13. Verse 13 says, We speak in words not taught by human wisdom, but in those taught by the spirit. Combining spiritual thoughts and spiritual words. So I bless you, teachers, you meditate on this. And what are the depths of truth? What's spiritual wisdom? How do you combine it with spiritual words and pursue the depths that God has there for you? I bless you as you are anchored in the Word of God and you use it correctly since it's like the sword. It's sharp and it's active. Luke, the author of several books in the New Testament, was a, a doctor but also a teacher gift and you can tell because those books are the most systematic sequential and complete history of Jesus and of the early church. Luke wanted to make sure he had all the facts, all the details, all the historical facts to put together to make a very complete picture. And like Luke Teacher, you like the details. You want the background information to prove that it's true. And that's a good thing. You ha think de details are important. But a lot of the other gifts don't see that. And so I'm sorry for the impatience or the lack of understanding that others have had with you when you're telling a story and you're presenting the whole story that you think needs to be told 
and they're critical or they reject you. So I wash off and break off the many judgments people have had against you, that you're too detailed, you, you tell the story too long, it just goes on and on. I just break that off of you because God designed you to see the picture, to get all the pieces, to put it all together, to be accurate. That is your design and I bless it. I bless you in standing in the truth that you know the value of the truth and the Word of God. Because remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And He is the living Word. So as Jesus reveals that truth to you, both through His Word and through other methods, I bless you to hold on and savor that. And maybe not get stuck as much in research, research, but step into all the new things that He is revealing about Himself in His Word to you. The Word is alive. So as you go in and mine the depths of it and pull out the gold to share with others, to teach, to explain, to help them understand, you are walking in the greatest area of your design. So I bless you, teacher, as you enjoy and are activated by the Word of God and as you release that to others and watch them come to Christ, be transformed, be made alive. I bless you, teacher, in all that you do. In Jesus' precious name, amen.